take a look at this. This this is a great example. I just spotted this lying on the ground and I'm kind of thinking like, oh, why is it lying on the ground? So it looks like somebody attempted to make a Peter Vandenberg P channel. But the important lesson here is not the rust. It's it's this right here. And it, and you can tell at the end of it got melted. So it's it's not doing well in the high temperatures. The melt shows that the temperatures that we're seeing, wherever this was, and whatever design of rocket mass heater it was in, is was exceeding 2,600 degrees. Because steel, and more importantly, iron, melts at 2,600 degrees. But wait, there's an even more important lesson here. And that is this part. You can see that it was indeed steel, and that the steel was beginning to spall. And that's where the, the carbon in the steel starts to get the steel to flake off in layers. It's, it's kind of, it's considered a form of oxidization. But this is why most wood stoves are cast iron and not steel. Because steel is great for welding and cast iron doesn't weld. There's, there's other things you do brazing typically with, with cast iron. But uh, the cast iron can go to uh, the melting point without spalling, but steel will spall at about 1600 degrees. If you like this sort of thing, come on out to the forums at permies.com where we talk about rocket mass heaters, homesteading, and permaculture all the time. Mm -hmm.